I'm Mark Bruni. Meet me at the Muni. Meet me at the Muni. The Muni in Forest Park. Hi, I'm Mike Isaacson, the executive producer, artistic director of the Muni, and I'm here at the PNC Arts Alive Gazebo with Mark Bruni, who is our director for our season opener of My Fair Lady. This is Mark's seventh production at the Muni. And I'm going to begin the fawning because I'm really happy you're here. You've taken a hiatus from us for, uh, for two years. For yeah, two years. Two years away. Because you have been out, create, you were part of creating, and then the Broadway production and the Tony nominated Broadway production, and then the Olivier Award nominated London production of Beautiful, the Carol King musical. Yeah, it was a really exciting time right. um, to be able to work with those great songs and a uh, wonderful book by Doug McGrath and uh, to tell the story of an American music icon. And the other Muni connection is? Uh, of course, Paul Blake, the, the, the former uh, artistic director and executive producer, is the lead producer of Beautiful. And with along Mike with, Bosner. Along with Mike Bosner, yeah. Who, yeah. who was here for many years at the Muni. And yeah, we, we're about to send out our national tour. Uh, right after this, uh, the beginning of August, we start rehearsals and that starts in Providence and then we'll be touring for the next two years or so uh, around the country and sit, doing some long sit downs and some shorter stints in various cities. Um, but we've got our cast, we're really excited about our cast and um, it's, uh, it's, it's all very exciting. Meanwhile, um, it's thankfully continuing to run in New York and, and continuing to run in London. In fact, we're, uh, we're heading over there um, at the end of July to cast the second company of uh, wow. the London company because they they're the way that their contracts work they just they they end at a certain point um, uh, even though they've only been running for six or seven months so we, we've we've got to uh, start replacing them over there so here's the question which may be too abstract but whatever you learned or learned about yourself or your abilities at the Muni prior to that yeah how did that inform that and now returning well, I, th I, I think as, as a director, one of the most important things is about focus and getting the audience to all look in the same place when they're supposed to. And uh, at the Muni, they're, they're, be because there's so many eyes that you have to get in the right place, it's, it's about clarifying that to, uh, to an even higher degree. Um, and so getting, uh, getting that kind of training and being able to do that over and over and, um, and make that clear on a large scale, when you go to a slightly smaller scale, those skills are very overlapping, I think. Fascinating. Um, let's talk about My Fair Lady. My Fair Lady. Uh, one, in my opinion, one of the uh, top five musicals written of all time, maybe Why? in the top three. I, it, it's, it's um, in, the, it, in the era where we, we oftentimes um, criticize musicals for being based on uh, movies. Um, the, my, my Fair Lady, a uh, 1950s musical comedy that's based on Pygmalion, um, a, a Shaw play. And uh, musicals have always looked to the, the art form of the previous generation to as stories to then uh, musicalize. And, uh, and, and this one, I, I think, just has one of the greatest books. It has uh, the, 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 the most tangy of the, jo of the Shaw dialogue, in addition to Alan J. Lerner's treatment of it, which is quite different than um, Pygmalion. In fact, there, there are some um, moments, uh, the Ascot, scene was is, is not in the original play and um, it was the invention of Alan J. Lerner and uh, they it, it has some of the some of the greatest songs written for the theater of I could have, of course I could have danced all night um, and, uh, and and so many others and all the, all the way down the line and we've got a cast here that is extraordinary I mean I'm so excited to share this cast with um, with the audience here I think they're really gonna enjoy it